let me give this opportunity to Senator Kimani Wamatangi. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, in, uh, on such an occasion, first I want to confess that I had not prepared uh, an acceptance speech. <laughs> but, uh, Mr. Speaker, be that as it may, uh, first I want to take the, the opportunity, Mr. Speaker, to, to thank all the senators. First, for all the goodwill messages that uh, have been conveyed here by members of the Senate from both sides, Mr. Speaker, in the words that they've uttered uh, this afternoon. I also want to thank, Mr. Speaker, the senators who, with me yesterday in our discussions in our PG, also showed uh, their confidence, Mr. Speaker, that uh, I can serve alongside with them. I, I want to confirm to members of this House, Mr. Speaker, that I am under no illusion at all that the job that I have been asked to do for the Senate, Mr. Speaker, is not an easy one. Uh, Mr. Speaker, though it is not easy, I have also clarity of mind on what I need to do and what I don't need to do. And I, I, I would want to draw that from the experience I've had, Mr. Speaker, from the year 2013, when I was first elected to be a sitting senator in this House. And Mr. Speaker, it is my belief, firmly, that for any feather that is added to your heart, it should only make you a better person and bring out the best version of yourself. And uh, in so doing, Mr. Speaker, I realize fully that in the course of my work, building consensus with members of the Senate, finding agreement all the time, and ensuring that we walk the journey together is the best way forward for us to be able to prosecute our business, Mr. Speaker. I want to confirm and assure my colleagues, uh, like uh, Senator Murkomen, I don't know whether he's still in the House. Uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, <laughs> Senator Murkomen is, is indeed, as you said, my son. <laughs> I gave him a wife, so I sat in the place of his father-in-law. And uh, it, is not, it, it is not in the place of a, of a father to hurt a son. <laughs> So uh, whatever he is, I want to be uh, rest assured that I will be uh, modest. Mr. Speaker, because I don't want to make this a lengthy speech, I just want to summarize by assuring members of the Senate from both sides of the House that I will seek to build consensus all the time, uh, consult with uh, my colleagues. And, uh, and Mr. Speaker, I am fully aware that this House that we have been in since that time requires not only to project a better and its best image, Mr. Speaker, but we have to ensure that we earn the respect of the country, Mr. Speaker, and ensure that what we say, what we do, uh, will bring out that picture. Lastly, Mr. Speaker, I also understand what the role of the whip is, Mr. Speaker. It is not to divide people. It is not to rejoice in the suffering of other members, Mr. Speaker. It is to ensure that this House passes laws that are good for the country, Mr. Speaker. It is to ensure that this House amends laws which require amendment to become better laws, Mr. Speaker, and to reject laws that are not good for the country, while doing that together as one, Mr. Speaker. And so that is what I will seek to do. Mr. Speaker, I also want to thank you, and I'm sure that uh, in my new role, as we work together in leadership, and the rest of the leadership of the, of the Senate, Mr. Speaker, that we shall uh, eventually uh, come out uh, better people. Uh, I will not be <laughs> carrying my name tag in my pocket, Senator Mutula Kilonzo Jr. <laughs> I'll hang it on uh, the wall, but the wall of my heart, to ensure that uh, the day when I exit that position, that people can only say that I did my best and did well. To my friend, uh, to my friend uh, Senator Wetangula, <laughs> uh, I hear you, <laughs> and, uh, and I hear your advice. Mr. Speaker, I want to assure Senator Tangula that maybe any one time when he may, when he may have seen that uh, I was acting as though I'm electrocuted, <laughs> or being, uh, being electrocuted. Sometimes it's the fervor, it is the, it, it is the fire that burns inside you, because as 
Abraham Lincoln said uh, many years ago, Mr. Speaker, it is our belief that a government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish on earth. And so every time when you saw that I was agitated about something about government, it's because I believe it's about the people. That's how we are going to move uh, Senator Etangula. And I want to assure you that uh, you, can, you can expect from me that I'll be not only fair, uh, but right, Mr. Speaker. So thank you, Mr. Speaker. I want to accept and thank all the members of this House. I'll do my best to make sure that we have got a Senate that is respected, Mr. Speaker, that passes good laws, and Mr. Speaker, one that is more united than when we came in. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Senators. Uh, a few requests were made to the Speaker and the documents that were presented to me are not confidential. These uh, documents that can be seen. Um, so uh, they will be availed for those who want to see. As you know, the Speaker does not belong to any political party. I uh, only convey what have been given by the leaders of the, the various political parties. Whether they held meetings or not, that is not my business. Uh, my business is to, I trust that what I'm 